Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. I'm Basil. This is a speaker comparison to end all speaker comparisons. We have a Z5 Premium, a Nexus 6P, a BlackBerry Priv, an HTC One M9, and a Motorola Moto X Style. Front firing speakers across all of them. The BlackBerry Priv has a single mono speaker. Everything else has front firing stereo speakers. Right, what we're going to do for this comparison is measure the sound levels using a Huawei Mate S. I'm going to tell you exactly what I hear. We are not recording with the DSLR microphone. Instead, we're recording from an external microphone that is positioned equidistant. In addition to that, it is not professional grade. It is a decent microphone though, but I'm going to act as an intermediary to tell you all the nuances that might not come across. Right, that clear? Ace. We've got Spotify playing across all of these. It is streaming. It is streaming at exactly the same level across all of these devices. Same quality. Um, so let's get to some dance music on the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. So that was capping out in the 60s. This is the Nexus 6P. Similar kinds of volumes there. Let's go to the BlackBerry Priv. One less speaker. Looks like you get a quieter sound. Now let's go to the HTC One M9. So not much louder. The M9 sounded more, dare I say it, metallic. Now I know it's a metal phone, uh, but so is the Huawei Nexus 6P um, and the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium, but the HTC One M9 sounded a little bit crisper. I enjoy that sound, although it did border on slightly tinny as well. Now let's jump onto the Moto X style. Good volume levels. Right, what have we ascertained from that? Well, with just pure boom boom music, they pick similar kind of volume levels. The BlackBerry Priv is the quietest of the bunch. The HTC One M9 sounds the most metallic and has the best kind of clarity. Let's see how a little bit of Aretha goes down. So the vocal tipped it into the 70 range, uh, generally around the 60 range, sounded good. was the Nexus 6P and it sounded better. Don't play that song for me. Blackberry Priv with its mono speak sounds good but didn't quite hit those volume levels. Now HTC. Again, not that much volume, but you've got some kind of really good clarity there. Don't play that song for me. 
Oh, the Moto X styles, pretty fantastic. Uh, so my favorite so far, definitely the Huawei Nexus 6P, the Moto X style, and the HTC One um, M9, sorry. Um, now let's take it into a little bit of music makes me lose control. Wouldn't go as far as to call it bass, but you can definitely get that additional volume from a track like that. So eked into the 70s quite comfortably. Okay, so the Huawei Nexus 6P uh, has a little bit more what feels like bass. It's also got more volume, so yeah, clarifying that it is a better speaker than the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. How about the mono Blackberry Priv? It's just a quieter speaker, and that's unsurprising because you've got one less speaker than the rest of them. Now HTC One M9. The smallest of our phones physically, the smaller the size, the less room there is for the speakers to oomph. Still performs well, better than the Priv in terms of volume, not quite as good as a Nexus, but the clarity is once again there. How about the Motorola? Amazing. So yeah, Motorola and the Nexus 6P, my two favorites without a doubt. In fact, the Motorola speaker sounds very, very similar to the Nexus 6. Should have probably included that in this if we had one to hand. The Nexus 6, by the way, for anyone who doesn't remember, one hour speaker comparison in terms of volume in the past. Right, now let's get some tasty classical music on here. We've got air on G string. And on the Huawei. And on the Blackberry. Okay, so that's quite interesting. The Blackberry with its mono speaker seems to push the sound out a little bit more. Um, so for stringy violinies, it hits the higher volumes than it does in the more kind of vocal and instrumental tracks that aren't so pitchy. Um, still, my favorite is without doubt the Huawei Nexus 6P. You probably noticed straight after the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium, it just sounded like there was a full orchestra behind it. It had some real kind of backing oomph, whereas it sounded a lot flatter on the Xperia of Z5 Premium. Right, on to Mr. HTC. Good, not the levels of volume like you had on the Huawei, but you do have some clarity in there. How about the, so the Motorola style? Good, so the higher volume uh, devices, specifically the style, sounded a little bit more 
muffle as in less crisp and clear so the htc1 m9 had a lot of clarity to it you could kind of pick out individual instruments a little bit better and my favorite still the huawei nexus 6p and these two kind of for different reasons now jumping on to last couple of more poppy upbeat songs this is an awesome artist called dragus Now on the Nexus 6P. So what's awesome about that is the, the Sony was pitchier. The Sony was uh, like, you can tell it's pushing sound through tiny thin slits, which is exactly what it's doing. Um, and it added some real kind of roundness to the voice as soon as we jumped over to the Huawei Nexus 6P. How about the Blackberry? Not too shabby, HTC. Heaps better. So the HTC have managed to actually get the instrumental and give it some oomph, get the vocal, give it some roundness as well. Um, yeah, really enjoyable listening to that, as brief as it was. Now let's jump onto the uh, Motorola Motorx style. That was awesome. Really, really, really loud. Right, I'm going to jump on to another song and just do it with these two to see which is the loudest one after the other. Okay, now jumping onto it on the Moto X style. Incredibly, incredibly similar. Um, so yeah, generally speaking, these are five of the best uh, speakers on devices around at the moment. The Sony Xperia Z5 Premium can't quite compete on a quality level, but considering you've got waterproofing, which always impacts uh, speakers negatively, it's still doing a very, very good job. Um, we will do one side by side with a Sony Xperia Z5 alone um, to send a complete comparison down the line. The Huawei Nexus 6P itself is a brilliant, brilliant speakerphone amongst the best out there, unsurprising given the addition size you've got but still absolutely love it the blackberry priv respectable for a mono speaker um definitely actually these two are pretty neck and neck i didn't love the sound from the sony didn't uh, hate the sound from the priv it's got less volume in a lot of areas but it still manages to give you a good sound the ht1 m m m9 is a real classic considering it's a smaller device it can really pack a punch volume might not be the highest out there but it's got a nice balance of kind of quality across the instrumentals of vocal depth um, but it can sound a little bit tinny um, and it peaks a little bit at the kind of shrill violin stringy elements in songs. And finally, the Moto X style. Easily one of my favourite speakers around that and the Huawei Nexus. Win this one hands 
down. Hopefully you enjoyed this speaker comparison across all of these. If you want any links to any of the music that pl was played, just check out our Spotify links below in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Make sure if you are watching this on YouTube, you click that thumbs up button, you like the channel, you like BTEC, um, and of course head over to the website. You can get some deals on awesome Nomo accessories. That's awesome bags um, and like the Electronista that Gina just reviewed and the zip folio that I just reviewed. Thanks for watching.